high income, low income, how to tell the difference. Income. What's income? Income is the money we receive for for our efforts, for our labor. Income can be in the form of our W-2 job. Income can be in the form of the money we deposit in the bank, the interest, or income can be in the form of social security pensions. Income can be in the form of our tax retirement that we withdraw at come retirement time, or if we have to take it out early because of either emergency or we want to purchase a house, that's considered as an income by the government. So the question is, high income or low income, how to tell the difference? I'm here in one of my properties, I'm outside, and I'm gonna show you, I just stepped outside because I did some painting work. As you can see, my hands are filled with paint right now. They're filled with paint. I was doing some painting work. I have zero income. I am not a W-2 employee. I do work for assets. And currently, while I am killing the time to wait for the pickup of my kids, they they are um, out of school around 3 p.m. And so I'm killing my time. I have 30 minutes to make use of my time. So what I planned earlier was to, before I pick them up, I would show uh, uh, one of my properties that are currently um, gonna be available in June to a potential incoming doctor and then swing by to another property and do some finishing touches. That's my hand paint. And I also plan to put some kitchen liners, kitchen cabinetry li liners. So high income, low income, how to tell the difference? It's really not the income, the, the, the income that we get from our job, but how we use those monies, the income either from our job, from our tax, um, from our tax retirement account, from our distribution, from the interest that we get from the banks. It's how we use that money and deploy it to buy assets. So I work for assets. So let me show you um, one of the properties that I have currently. We just bought this um, a few months ago, two months. And right now this asset is a liability for me. Why? Because it is vacant. So I am paying for utilities. I'm paying for the light, light. I'm paying for the heat. I'm paying for the water and sewer. Well, I'm paying for the taxes. I'm paying for the principal and interest. So this house is a single family house. It was a one bedroom, one, two bath, two and a half bath. There's actually a half bath in the basement. And I, what I did for the single family home was I converted. So let me show you around first. So this, let me go back in here. So this actually was a storage. So the previous owner just used this as a storage. So this was a sunroom, but it was not heated. So what I did was I put an extension of the central cooling and the central heating in this property. And then I converted this space into a living room. And now I'm gonna take you to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. So it has a stove, an exhaust fan vent, a microwave, a refrigerator. And what I did, her living room, the previous owner's living room was this and I converted this living room into a second bedroom. So I converted this into a bedroom. So I made it into a two bedroom, one bath unit. I mean, two bedroom, two bath apartment. And I decided that I'm gonna put a sliding door there, right? Those are doors, barn doors, to make it, to convert it into a two bedroom. And this is just what I did. I retouched the stairs. It has a spiral staircase because it's been, it's an older home. And 
That's one of the things I did while waiting to kill the time before I pick up my kids. I have this paint and I was putting on some kitchen cabinetry liners in here to protect the uh, wood, the particle board wood. So that's what I did. Let me show you around to the first floor bathroom. It also has a second floor bathroom. I won't be able to take to take you to give you a tour on the second floor because the stairs are wet. I just did some painting on it. So that's the stand-up shower. You have the vanity and this toilet. And then I have a lot of tons of um, windows. So more windows in here. And then off the bathroom is you've got your first floor laundry. That's the first floor laundry. So that's uh, the, oops, that's the bathroom, laundry, and the bedroom, and then the kitchen, and then the living room of this single family home. So this is a two bedroom, two bedroom, two and a half bathroom. Like I said, the half bathroom is in the basement. Um, and then I converted the storage to a living room. I added the duct and then I converted this original living room to a bedroom by adding this barn doors. So as you can see, high income or low income, how to tell the difference. Remember, it's what we do with our income and how we use that income to work harder for us. It's not what we get, but it's what we do with the money we get and how we deploy it to purchase assets, to produce income producing assets, cash flowing assets. So I hope you learned something guys. My name is Ria. I'm a family medicine physician and a geriatric physician by profession. And I work for assets such as this, assets. So if you want to know more about what I do, come follow me on Facebook, Apartment Prescription, or YouTube apartment prescription. Take care until the next income. Let us go. Wealth cannot wait, physicians. Let us go.